What's happening? I'm Chom Tom, and welcome back to another episode of the Chom Tom Restaurant View. All right, so I'm out here in Trey 4 Winston, North Carolina at one of, if not the best, Tex-Mex restaurant in the Trey 4. Known for their unique indoor and outdoor seating, people call this restaurant one of the best hidden gems in North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, take our review comes from the Porch, Kitchen, and Cantina. Welcome to the show. All right, first thing we're gonna try right here, something that I've never tried before, but I've always heard it was pretty good. The avocado fries. Just so you guys can see how the avocados look up close and personal. These avocado fries cost me $12, and they gave me one, two, three, four. They gave me quite a few. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. You know, I don't know what I was expecting, man. I mean, I was expecting something a little bit more taste, uh, but I like the fact that they were very creative. They cut these into these little spears, dipped them in breadcrumbs and deep fried them. For those who really don't eat avocados like that, I think you would probably like this because the fact that it's deep fried, it kind of throws the taste off a little bit. And also when you dip it into this green sauce, which I don't really know what it is. It gives it a very sweet taste and it also masks the real true flavor of the avocado. Good concept. Nice and crunchy, a little mushy. Not really a fan, probably wouldn't order it again. Definitely recommend some of you guys to try this if you like avocado, but me, I'm giving it a seven. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the quinoa burger, or is it called quinoa? Yeah, no. Nope. Quinoa. No. Joaquin. No. That's the, fun that's, the funniest, that's the funniest commercial ever. Quinoa burger comes out to $14. Comes with the tots, comes with the onions, comes with the lettuce, comes with the tomato. Looks like a toasted bun right here, which looks a little burnt, but we gonna deal with it. Kinda wanna show y'all what I'm working with before I devour this into me mouth. Ooh, baby. Looks so sexy. It's all right. This is a panko breaded, fried into crispy, topped with chipotle made less pickles and onions, house made quinoa and zucchini patty. My bad. This is probably one of the most unique sandwiches that I've ever had in my life. I just would like to know how they managed to fill this with zucchini and fry it with quinoa. But those who have never had quinoa before or have never heard of quinoa before, quinoa, in my own personal opinion, is probably one of the most bland thing that you can ever taste. To get a freaking taste out of quinoa, you have really got to pair it with something that has a lot of flavor. With them pairing it with the lettuce, the tomato, the onions, the sauce, it gave it a lot of flavor. The only thing I did not like about this right here is that the bottom bun was a little burnt. Didn't really appreciate that, but overall, man, the sandwich was, I mean, it was pretty good. So the quinoa bugger, I gotta give it a. Man, I swear I ain't never seen such a fresh piece of lettuce in my life. Last but most certainly not least, we have what they call uh, sweet pea tacos. I really want you guys to get a good look at this right here. Look at that fried chicken, tomatoes, and onions right there. Look at all that, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it open for y'all. Louise, look at the size of this mug. Sweet pea puffy tacos comes out to sixteen dollars. Man, I gotta tell you, man, this this is oh man, I roll up the sleeves for this one. Ooh. I'm about to go in. Man, that ain't bad right now. Mm. Y'all wanna see it? That's how I look when I bit into it. Look good, down it. Let me explain this right here. We got jalapenos, we got lettuce, we got guacamole, we got fried chicken, we got pico, we got Texas peat honey. I mean, we got a lot going on right here, man. Everything that I just named came together beautifully. I mean, it was beautiful. I was a little worried because the Texas peat honey and the jalapenos I was worried it was gonna be a little bit too spicy, but this was just the right amount of spice. I mean, the tortillas were huge. The chicken is just like nice and bready. This, I think if I'm not mistaken, is a sweet lime cream. And when I put it on this right here, it, you got, it made everything good, I'm sorry. You like tacos, you like chicken on your tacos, you like Texas Pete and chicken on your taco, you, this is gonna be heaven for you. You know, it's 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 only right for you to smack your grandma after you eat this right here. I mean, it's just only right. Jesus Christ. 
Sweet Pea Puffy Tacos, give it 10. Y'all know what time it is, let's jump into the experience. Took your boys food a little over 11 minutes to come out. Not bad. Let you know right now, when you come to this restaurant, it is very creative and very colorful, and they are repping that Texas, man. Looked over to the left, seen the pickup area, nice and colorful, flowers everywhere. You can see right through the kitchen. It was very, very nice. Then I go around to the bar, I look up, I see the lights. Now, these aren't just any type of lights, ladies and gentlemen. These are lights that are in jars. What the f***? Whoever's in charge of the creativity that goes into this restaurant is a smack on the booty. Last but not least, this is personally my favorite, the outside seating area. At the porch seating area, you also have the big igloo tent looking joints. Y'all, this is very unique. They got four big tents and inside these tents, it's chairs, tables, and it's nice and decorated. Like, who in the f thinks about stuff like that? I mean, not me. I don't know, man. I'm just a really big fan of the whole igloo tent looking thing because it's a nice intimate area for you and your friends, you and your girlfriend, whoever you want to talk to, to sit down there and have a good time and just even enjoy each other, man. Now let's jump into the dislikes. Here recently, I've been walking to a lot of restaurants that has made it a point to add hand sanitizer at the door. This restaurant that has hand sanitizer anywhere. Yeah, they was wearing masks, but it would be nice to have some hand sanitizer in there for customers that walk in and want to, you know, wash their damn hands. You know, and to cut down on the spread of COVID. As I was at the bar, I looked up, looked at a vent, and it was very freaking dusty. Didn't really like that. Didn't really appreciate that. I'm sure your customers don't appreciate that either. Not sure if they even care, but that is just like really disgusting. So yeah, man, when you get a chance, man, you might want to clean out the vents, all right? Last but not least, if you come to this restaurant, you're going to have a hard time finding it. Or maybe just me. Maybe it was my GPS. I don't know. But I know my GPS told me to take a left, and it literally led me down a freaking road that looked like I was going to hell, man. And I ain't trying to go to hell, man. I'm trying to go to hell. This restaurant is tucked back off in the cut, and when you walk through the gravel and then towards the restaurant, it's in this little cul-de-sac where there's other little restaurants and little places that kind of surround the area. Which, I mean, it is pretty nice, but it'll be even nicer if you guys had signs pointing to where you guys are or had a bigger sign kind of advertising where the restaurant is. Because, damn it, I had the hardest time finding this restaurant. Oh, no, this restaurant has a 94.0 sanitation score. Yeah, y'all have got to fix that. Would I recommend this restaurant to you guys? Absolutely. I mean, this food was like really dang good. From the quinoa burger to the sweet peat puffy tacos, the, the, the freaking avocado, the, the, the avocado fries. Yeah, man, it was all definitely a blessing and I recommend you guys come here and try it out. For more vlogs, recipes, and content, Hit your boy up on YouTube, all right? And also, if you want to submit a restaurant for me to review, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. To all my fans, I love you guys so much, okay? I really do. Thanks for the support. Be blessed, and I'm out of here. Peace.